my lovely people, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you have a blessed day. I really want to thank you for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I see all the love that you're passing around. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the comments. I've seen a posting on your WhatsApp status, I've seen some of you as a posting on your Instagram stories. From the bottom of my heart, I'm very grateful. And let's all have fun and rise together on this channel. <laughs> you deserve a round of applause. Right, so today's video, what I'm going to talk about is very interesting, okay? And at the end of the video, just stay tuned, you would know whether you're on group A or group B. So today I'm talking about new year new me versus new year same me <laughs> you see all these people say oh new year new me and you see all these other people are saying new year same me where do you belong which group do you belong to is it new year new me or new year same me but let's try to understand why people are saying new year new me Obviously, it's a new year. We're in 2020. But come on, it's a special year. Obviously, it's 20 and 20. There's something about this year I don't know about you. Like, it's, it sounds very unique to me because it's 20 and 20. It's a special year, regardless of how their numbers appear. It's just a unique year. Start, because I've started the year on a positive note, I just know that everything about this year every month is going to be special okay so yeah back to new year new me people because obviously we're in a new year and perhaps they don't really like um how the states they are in at the moment they want to change certain things about themselves they want to change certain ideas certain mindsets you know certain jobs certain relationships name it they just want to change it so um, some of them perhaps in the past year have tried to change but it's not working but then when we enter into the new year if it's, it's, it's like a new chapter in everybody's life and people just wanna you know rebrand themselves get into the new chapter rewrite their story just you know be themselves so that's why a lot of people say New Year, New Me. Now let's go to New Year, Same Me. I have also um, figured out that people are saying New Year, Same Me because number one, it could be they're happy with their experiences they have or um, the lifestyle they have. They're just happy with their family, with their relationships. They're just sorted, they're settled. And also, secondly, some people are saying New Year same me because they cannot be bothered. They don't really want to like, you know, have new goals, have new dreams, start a new business, change career, like, they cannot be bothered. So now, looking at these two, which one would you say is stronger than the other? Because um, if you ask me what I'm going to say, regardless of how you are let's say let's let's put it in this way um in the previous year let's say you've had a really smooth year like everything was on point the money kept on coming the relationship is on i mean your hair was on fleek the brows was <laughs> i mean everything was perfect you had your new car perhaps you got your new house i mean you're sorted, you were settled in 2019, okay? Regardless, there's only one question I want to ask. Is that where you want to be forever till you, you grow old? Or perhaps till you grow old and that? I believe the answer is going to be no. So regardless of how excellent the year has been, you still have to work on it. Even if you don't want to improve on what you have been or the... Um, accomplishments that you've had you need to work on maintaining it 
because if you for instance um, get a new car and you forfeit maintenance you don't fuel the car you don't do anything about it it's gonna rust it's gonna you know go bad it's gonna get damaged it's gonna break down okay whereas um, also if you've had like a really rough year and obviously that is the reason you're gonna say new year new me so let's look at it from this point people saying new year saying me should really think about it okay it can be the same you as in you want to um, keep up with how you are you're happy with how you are that is absolutely fine obviously that even shows that you believe in yourself it's excellent everybody has to believe in themselves but do not say new year same me with the understanding that you want to remain the same Wherever level you've got into in life, you want to remain the same. That is not cool. Okay. Then again, life is a journey. Obviously, from the time we were babies, we started growing, we became infancies, we became teenagers. Most of us are now adults. So life doesn't remain the same. Me, it should even be a new day, new me. Okay, so... Um, well, it depends on the reason people are saying, New Year saying, okay? So from the time of our birth till we became infants, um, till teenagers, till we became adults, obviously we are not the same. <laughs> Someone can even show you um, a picture of when they were babies or, you know, very small or an infant compared to how they are right now and you can see that it's very different, okay? so. To me, it should even be new day, new me. As the year changes, as we enter into new years, as we enter into new months, it's very ideal that people write down their goals. If you're happy with where you are, try and maintain it because life can switch from 10 to 0, you know, so from 0 to 10. It's very imperative that people are keeping track of their progress. Okay. Besides, life makes meaning with new adventures. It's very boring when you're not really doing anything. I'm not sure. I, I believe you can agree to it. Okay. To me, it's very boring when you're not starting a new, you know, venture, starting a new business, trying to learn a new trade, read a book, watch um, a documentary that will improve your life. Just anything. Name it. It's good to change. It's, it's a great thing to embrace change. Change is, is really good. It also helps you to discover who you really are because obviously there's a lot of things that we say we want to do when we're young. But we grow up and we realize that it's changed completely because growing up you get to know more about you, especially if you don't care about the opinions of others. You get to know more about yourself. You know what to do to bring yourself to a point where you feel satisfied within. So it's, um, I want to really keep it brief today. The new year knew me, and then the new year say me, all comes down to how satisfied you are with your life. If you're satisfied with wherever you are at the moment, could it? Yeah, so in summary, I'm just trying to say that life is a journey, and each and every day we have to do something. To ensure that we're progressing in life okay to ensure we're discovering our purpose in life okay so that means if your new year new you or new year same you you still have to ensure that you are at least maintaining the goals you've already achieved or you're working towards the goals you haven't achieved okay so yeah guys i would love to hear from you um, please like this video Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and please put something down in the comment box. Let's get interactive, okay? And let me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about um, in my next videos. I said in the previous um, introduction video, I'm still working on it. I'm going to get some people, we're going to discuss some interesting topics. So stay tuned. One thing, um, if you haven't hit the 
notification bell please do so that you do not miss any of my videos and many 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 i don't want to say it right now but many interesting videos to come okay so you know what to do but please subscribe okay subscribe to my channel look if, if you 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 haven't subscribed please do that right now <laughs> yeah love you all and thank you for watching positive vibes with job many more interesting videos to come thank you for watching Mwah.